Okay, so for the weekend, Brian's got plans. So uh, we're steaming the railings. Got them all ready to put in place. I said we weren't steaming the railings because of the weather, but Brian's gonna go through with uh, it. Yeah, it's too, I don't wanna waste the whole weekend. Yeah. So we at least see how it works. And then, you know, maybe by tomorrow we could have something glued into place and installed. What? So we'll see. <laughs> Another big experiment. So this is part two, making a railing part two, or dry run number two. Dry run number yeah. two, right? Yeah. So the other thing I wanted to do was to, I had taken the bigger logs for the railing around the opening to the mill yesterday, but apparently they don't like Friday the 13th because they were closed, a big sign, Friday the 13th closed. So. Mill. Lumber mill closed, don't have yeah. railings for the for the stair. So I might try and do it on our, I, you know, it's a small bandsaw. I don't know if we can manage it or not, but I might give it a try. Either do it with that or uh, just make a jig that I can run my um, circular saw on. Of course, when I do that, typically it, um, it doesn't cut all the way through, so I gotta flip it over, mm. try and line it up again, and then go again. Um, so we'll see about that. I don't know. Is it wise? Can we use the bandsaw for trees this big around? Yeah. You know, it's a small, it's only a, a small amperage saw, so. Yeah, it's good for the, the smaller projects, which is what we need, so. Mm -hmm. like it'll be useful for doing the closet and yeah. other projects as well, other furniture type projects, so. I guess we still got to figure out that piece, but in the meantime, we got to get the preparations to see if we can work that steamer in a snowstorm. Right. <laughs> It's cold. I need to start the steamer, but it's freaking cold. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go. Ready to go with all your wood slats, and it seems like a great idea, and a lot of folks thought it was a great idea for the slicing and splicing. Yeah, <laughs> I think it'll work out just fine. Mm -hmm. I'd rather it wasn't snowing and freezing. What is it, 10 degrees out? No, it's like 20, 20. something. Because the water's going to be going in. I have to run the water from inside to outside. I have to leave the door open a little bit. Oh. I don't want to run the it'll freeze up the mm -hmm. water coming out of the faucet. I don't want to risk that actually freezing up completely. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe you can keep the generator right here, and we'll point the steamer that way. We could run it. Yeah, we could run it through the door. Yeah, we just run it through the door. Well, it'll be right here, okay. and then point the steam generator towards the towards the hill there. Okay. What are you doing? Eating snow every minute. Well, it looks like you've added some blankies there. Yeah. So, we just realized that I only have a cord that's this long for the steamer, so, and I don't have a 50 amp extension cord. So, we're not going to be able to keep the steamer inside. So we can't keep the steamer inside. No. So, we're just going to wrap it up with a blanket. These were not live they trees. They were not live trees. Okay. Okay. So. These were. Can you fit standing. all of them in there? Or would you fit them all? I can all? put all that in there, yeah. Okay. I, th I think I can put all that. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, clamp them all to the bottom. I'm going to cut a bunch of little pieces like this. Mm -hmm. and so we'll get a three quarter inch spacer basically right there. So the, the clamped diameter uh, will be smaller than the actual diameter to account for some spring back. Okay. So I really, I'm not. I have no idea how much spring there'll be, but mm -hmm. if we make it smaller than or tighter radius, then uh, hopefully that'll take in. You know, when it springs back, it won't be too large. Mm -hmm. So we can hope. Hopefully, clamp them all right on top of each other, like right here. So it's going to be one unit, right. you're saying. Each tree is going to stay its own unit, right. get all bent together. Right, because it's because all the pieces can slide against each other. See how um, flexible it is? Yeah. Already? There you go. What the hell? Okay. That makes more sense. So each unit is going to get stacked. Right. Okay.
So you're gonna hold them into place with those? Yeah, I'm hoping I can just clamp them on with that. Maybe start with the clamp clamps. Mm -hmm. uh, you have enough clamps? No. <laughs> Are you gonna just remove one bundle at a time from the steamer? Oh, no, I wanna do them all. Well, yeah. I can open it, turn it off, open it, pull one out. Yeah, close it, close back, it up. back up. Yeah, and that way it'll stay pretty warm in there. It won't cool, because apparently people say they cool off fast. Yeah. So. nervous on that one because uh, it didn't see it, it was flexible but it just didn't seem like you really have to crank on it to get it right up to the to the posts there so you have to really really pull it in and I wasn't sure that the clamps were going to hold it but but it's holding so we just need more clamps so we have three more sets uh, wood to bend so uh, that's a lot of clamps so you're noticing that the cranking yeah, force. I, I never put a bolt in here. And it push, pulled the log, at the post out of the stair a little yeah, bit? Yeah, so I put a big bolt in there. Whoops. Okay. Clamp. Well, I want to see how well the rope holds. Okay. So I'm going to just take this one off. Okay. Oh, it was already off. It was, <laughs> it was awkward. Oh, it's just very barely old. Mm. I don't know if it needs to be steam, steam more, longer. What's the big difference between using green and dry wood? I mean, you know, you use standing dead wood. Right. So it's not going to feel as wet as the aspen did. Well, yeah, but if it's permeated with the steam all the way, it'll be sopping wet. Mm. Could you have gotten that much of a bend out of it without even steaming it? No. No. Okay. No, not at all. Okay. Good so it'll just be interesting to see how well this holds its shape when we're done, when we let it go. I'm not super confident. Not confident. I'm not super confident it's going to stay like that. Mm. I mean, I feel like it's cooled off already. Yeah. Like we should, could take it apart and see what happens. Yeah. It just seems like maybe you would leave that up for like a week or something. Well, at least overnight. Yeah. I mean, I think by overnight it's going to be back to normal. I mean, it could be wet on the inside between the... Yeah, maybe it's drying out in the, just on the outer. Oh. So you're saying that the steaming definitely made a difference in the pliability. Oh, absolutely. See? I'm barely... You hear the cracking already. Yeah. So I'm, I'm maybe two inches. Okay. I'm bending that. So. Okay. And we, we bent that 12 inches. Oh, okay. So. So the only question is, what's the spring back going to be? Right. <laughs> and so. if we steam it longer, will it reduce the spring back? We're probably going to put this, put something in here. Well, we could overlap down here. Yeah. Instead. Yeah. We can cut this much off. Yeah. I think. Okay, Brian's bringing the next one in. This one's been in the steam here for an additional hour. So this one's close to three hours of steaming. And we're gonna see if that's even more noticeable for flexibility. So here we go, hot tamale, hot, hot potato.
Step one is the take it out of the oven and bring it in. <laughs> bring uh, it in tie it. So clamp it down. Do the bend and then clamp it into place. Right. And then go back and tie it with the, the ties. What are you using for ties? It's like a paracord. This one went in real quick, except we just there was a little breakage on one of the slats. I mean, we don't really count. We would take this little thin one off anyway. This one doesn't count, even though that one cracked up there and right here. But the one underneath, the thicker one, cracked. So getting there, we've got our third packet of wood. Got the system down for uh, tying them up after to, to free up some of the clamps so we can clamp the fresh ones into place. The stair spindles are doing really well for holding everything. Got to get the last one before the blizzard buries you like Jack yeah. Nicholson. to close the door for good because this looks like a real <laughs> looks like a real uh, mountain blizzard hmm. it's like clearing out, if it's clearing out uh, the wind's coming gonna be coming in pretty soon yeah. Vigo are you coming down the stairs again Vigo's doing really good everybody thanks for asking about him incisions are looking nice stitches out next week so yeah, uh, I guess this is with not green wood. So that's what's um, the curious thing we'll find out tomorrow is how much spring back it'll have and how pliable it'll be trying to glue it together and such. Yep, somebody's hungry. Somebody wants supper in their food bowl. So overall, the posts were pretty good, you know, staying into place except that that one right there was a little bit bent. The force of this wood is pushing it out. Oh, okay. Well, well I guess we'll see tomorrow. Yeah. That's our next night. So that's our yeah. uh, trial number two. Yeah. Hopefully, third time's not the third time's not the charm. Yeah. <laughs> so ideally, what would you like to see tomorrow? When you, you want to take it out tomorrow and you want to, what do you want to see? That it doesn't spring back a ton? or yeah, I don't want it to, just a little bit, but I don't know, I'm a little worried. Just because it's so stiff. Yeah. <sighs> Might be sc scoping some new trees tomorrow. <laughs> All right, that's that's it. That's a wrap for today. That's a wrap for today. We'll see how it looks tomorrow and if we can go forward with it or if we've got to try again with Greenwood. And then... That'll be next weekend. That'll be next weekend, yeah. Tomorrow kind of looks like a blizzard, so one more try. At least we have plenty of resources and it doesn't cost anything. Right, except for time, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean... Just gonna fine-tune it. Yeah. Get it right. We're good to go. That's a wrap, guys. We'll see you next one. Later.